The following motion picture has been rated R by the Motion Picture Association of America. Viewer discretion is advised. The following content is a sequel to the content. Welcome to Kerbal Space Program 2. I think I think we all knew that it never really was going to work out. And then it really didn't work out. Like, it was more not working out than we expected. Like, like us that have been playing the game for a while knew that you can't really sequel something like this without, like, the same idea as before. And the same, and the same kind of team, which is the team that works slowly. But works slowly with quality. Now, what didn't happen because of management on KSP2 was working slowly with quality. It was just working slowly, and then, like, you know, that happened. Um, which which is unfortunate. I, I must say that sure is unfortunate. Uh, but... You kind of can't escape it now, right? Because you paid $60 for an early access game... That you expected more from. Um, yeah, I honestly should not have paid after I saw that. Um, after I saw the play demo with, like, Matt Lown and, you know, them. But, hey, I did. And I regret it now. Because, uh, yeah, we're done. So, um... Projects canned. Let's go. I don't know. I just wanted to say something that isn't scripted for once. And is on a video. Because that's something we never do around here. We just get on KSP1 and do stream. I, I'm sorry for all of you that thought that eventually we would actually move to KSP2. Um, because that means you had hope for the game. I had hope for the game. My hope was crushed the moment I saw how they were handling updates. I could have been more vocal about it, but I decided just not to be. Because I would stir up more people than I wanted to. And... You see what happened now. Um, I wish the best to every dev of KSP2. It was not your fault that what happened happened. I know none of you are watching this because why would you watch this? Unless you are, then hi, you're great. Um, but what happened did happen. So, thanks Take 2! Speaking of take two, by the way, I just wanted to acknowledge one more thing about what happened here with Kerbal 2. If you're going to lay off all those people because, you know, the studio's not performing well or the game's not performing well, which is, honestly, those are both kind of results here. Um, if you're going to do that, number one, provide some notice before you actually announce the layoffs. And the most important thing, communicate with the people that paid $60 to buy your game instead of leaving them in the dark like what's happened here. That, that, that would have made the response like a hundred times better from the people. Like, we're, we can't continue with the project. It's not profiting. People will understand that more than just shutting down the game with no... No true explanation or any kind of community involvement. It's just... It, you, <laughs> I've never really seen it happen like this before. Probably because I just haven't been following the right games. But now that I am following the right games, which have had this type of thing happen to them... Uh, I kind of understand a lot more why less games are being developed that are like this. Because... You need a very specific audience for it. Um, and it's kind of hard to appeal to that audience. <laughs> but that still does not justify what they did here, which is just leave us in the dark. Also, I don't know if um, Intercept is really still hard at work on KSP2. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. I'll see you in the next Space Simulator game starts development someday. I don't. Uh, can someone tell me when that day will be?